Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's Explore. Now, me and Tilly are back up in Wales and we've come to explore another house which has been abandoned for a very long time, which also has a very interesting rare car in the garage. Now, I'm gonna be using the Olight H2R Nova again today, which was actually kindly sent to me by Olight. Um, absolutely brilliant little torch this. It's really durable, it's got three settings. The battery life is absolutely incredible on it. So you'll see how good this torch is in a minute when we get inside. Let's go and take a walk up and hopefully we'll be able to get in and show you guys again something very special. Okay guys, so we have made it to the house. I'm just gonna walk around and try and find a way in, which I think we've just found. <laughs> it's quite easy. So yeah, um, it does look pretty dangerous this one. Oh God. Right, are you okay? legs on that glass okay so today I am using the H2R Nova torch again from Olight which you can see is <laughs> absolutely amazing for such a tiny little torch it really is good this thing it's a head torch um, but I'm gonna use it again on my hand just because it's easier to show you guys what's in here and I can point the torch to wherever I want so we've got a piano, a very nice piano here. Sadly, it doesn't work anymore. And this house looks like it's been empty for a very, very long time. As you can see, the whole roof has completely collapsed there. I don't even see that little rocking chair there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look through here. And we've got, I imagine, the old front door there. God. It's pretty bad, this one, isn't it? There's still a lot of stuff in here, though, to be fair. There's an old woman's own magazine there. I think there's a date on that. 1979. Wow. That is old. Jesus, look at this. God, literally everything is still here. God, this place has been empty for years. Years and years and years. All this debris you can see everywhere is actually the ceiling that's collapsed. Looks like it could be lava and plaster as well, which does sometimes contain asbestos, so we need to be very careful. Saying that, it is completely soaking wet in here, which is a good thing. The arc is pretty cool. Still got a little baking tray in there, look. <laughs> God, I wonder how many years that's been there for. That's probably the most corroded argo I've actually seen in an abandoned property. Purely because it's directly underneath the leak, which is right above it there. So water is constantly dripping onto that. It's not doing it any favours, is it? <laughs> oh, wow, these are pretty cool, that. I'm not sure what that one is there. That's obviously an old cooker with the hobs and the oven below. Again, still got a tray in there too. Two trays in that one. It looks really old. It looks like it could be from the 50s or the 60s, maybe. What we got through here? Looks like another way in there. A few pots and pans, nothing too interesting there. Well, that's a shame. Toilet in the basin completely destroyed, probably by kids. 
don't know why they feel the need to do that, I really don't. Oh, I didn't even see those. What on earth is that? That is disgusting. That looks like old pickled onions, which are all shriveled up. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. Okay, so what have we got through here? Lots and lots of stuff by the look of it. This must have been a dining area, possibly. And if you can hear, we're actually right next to the main road there. I just noticed that board there when that car went past actually sort of pulled out as if the car sucked it out when it went past. Let's so say this place is literally falling down. We've got an old Daily Mail here. That's dated 1980. 10p. <laughs> I've got to say, I really do like that Tash. It looks like an 80s porn star. <laughs> We've got some more here. Look, that's dated May the 27th, 1979. This one's dated 1980 again. And that one's 1980 again. So, yeah. Let's have a look at some of this food in here, see if we can find any dates on that. Oh, look at that. Heinz Slimway, low calorie dressing. Ugh, that is pure vulgar. That is really not nice. So these jars have been here for so long, I don't actually know that we're going to find a date on any of them, to be honest. state of those I mean that that there tells you how long this place has been empty for no I don't think we're gonna find a date in any of this to be honest shame but um ugh. <laughs> I think we should move on now let's go and see what upstairs has to offer actually got a room here as well but as you can see the floor has gone as well as the ceiling and the floor upstairs so we're definitely not going to be going into that room my goodness look at that you can see right through to the roof Wow I can hear dripping upstairs At least the stairs feel solid. So the dripping is actually coming from in here. <laughs> Look at that. Dear me. I don't think this house is going to be standing much longer to be honest. I just hope it doesn't fall down with me until the inside of it. Again we've got more newspapers in here. We've got a car dated there, 1973. I'll just see if we can pull this one out. That one is dated 1971. Blimey. I mean, considering the state of this house, I'm quite surprised that those papers have stayed in such good condition. We've got another women's own magazine there. That one is dated 1972. So it gives you some kind of idea how long this place has actually been empty for. I mean, looking at the state of it, yeah, it doesn't surprise me to be honest. So we've got another room through here. Don't think I'm gonna to go too far into there because it doesn't feel very strong that floor. Bloody hell, no, it doesn't at all. Um, to be fair, there's not a great deal in there. I haven't got a clue what that is. It looks like a huge wasp nest or something. Or just a massive tangle of weeds which has been growing for years and just fallen through the ceiling. 
God almighty. <laughs> um, there is a loft ladder. It looks pretty strong. Let's see if we can have a quick wander. Just stick the camera up the top and just see if there's anything worth looking at up here. Hopefully there's no owls or anything nesting up here. Which are going to attack me. No, that's not a great deal up here to be fair. Blimey. Right, go back down. Bear with me for a couple of seconds. To make sure I'm holding on to everything. Right, so we've got two more rooms left. But sadly, I'm definitely not going to be going into that one there because the floor has completely gone there. And as soon as I put my foot on any of that, I'm going to go straight through it. And again, this one here doesn't look too clever either. If I was to go in there, I think I'd be very stupid, to be honest with you. And there's not a lot left in there, I don't think. Wow. Well, there we go. Look at that. That is literally ready to fall down. Oh my God, this is so dangerous. I think it's time that we vacated the property before it does fall down on us. We'll go and check out the garage because I know there's something very special in there. Always save the best to last. You ready to? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't actually film that, but I just slipped on this bit of wood here. You can see where my foot went. And the, the direction I was going, my head would have actually landed, or my neck would have landed on that. So that just goes to show that you think you're being careful. It only takes one wrong move, one slip, one trip. And that could have been me, that, that, that would have been me gone. You know, that, that would have sliced my neck wide open. I would have been dead. So, just remember, just take extra care in these sort of places because they are extremely, extremely dangerous. I've just noticed, is that the back of a car there? It looks like an old convertible car of some sort. Yeah, it is, it is an old car. Come on, let's see how good you guys are. Can anybody identify what car that was? got a very very small <laughs> I can't even pull it up um, it's got a very small boot a couple of bumper fenders sticking out either side and it looks like it had a mechanical roof the front of it is literally there <sighs> do you know what I take my hat off to anybody who can identify that car because I certainly can't <laughs> Right, let's go and check out the other one because I know that one is in much better condition. Okay, so we just made it through the um, <laughs> the overgrown uh, trees, bushes, whatever you want to call them. Now, as we approach the garage, I do know that there is a car in here. And I believe it's called a DAF 44. And it is an absolutely, I wouldn't say mint condition, but it ain't bad. It really isn't. And it's been in here for a very long time. Tires are still pumped up, look. They've even still got the nobbles on the side of them. So they were probably fitted to it before it was stopped being used. I don't know, maybe they're original. Maybe the car hasn't even been used at all. <laughs> Well, it hasn't really, 21,963 miles. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I'll just have a quick look under the bonnet and just check out the engine, see what condition that's in. And it is, 
incredible actually. It is a very, very, very clean car. Consider it's been sat in here for about 30 or 40 years, whatever it is. I'm actually really surprised the condition of that. I mean, if anyone's looking for a DAF 44, then pff, this one here, <laughs> it's probably the best one you're gonna find. It's covered in dust, but to be fair, I can't see any rust on it at all, anywhere. Blimey. I've never even seen one of these cars before. Oh, that one's locked, that's a shame. Check out some of these newspapers in here. This is quite a lot. What dates have we got on here? 1975. Could be the same same paper to be fair, this one. Yeah. Um what's that one? I think they're maybe on the same paper. Oh well wow, that's pretty cool. BP antifrost. <laughs> what else have we got in here then? Small jars. A bottle of wine. Some more pickled onions by the look of it. <laughs> Some of the newspapers down here. 1975 again. Let's see if this door's open. Ah, this one's locked as well, that's a shame. I wonder if we can open it up from the inside. Right, it's locked. I just noticed someone's actually tried hot wire in that car as well. Bless them. They're uh, not going to be able to get it out very easy, that's for sure. To be fair, if you remove those, the whole bloody garage will probably fall down. So I wouldn't advise it. Look at all these old tins, look. Is that a tin of shandy, look. Shandy, lemonade and beer. Wow. It's crazy. It's a shame that so many people have either come here and destroyed it or stolen stuff and wrecked it. But, I mean, this place, if it was left alone for as long as it's been empty for, you can imagine it would be an absolute gem. It really would be. Wow. Right, well, I think that is pretty much it. We've seen everything we wanted to see here. So I think it's time we made a move, Tilly. What's that? Is that a dead animal or is that just fluff? Oh, that is actually a dead rabbit. And that's mm. the spine and back legs of it. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, it's not the easiest of places to get to. Ugh. Oop, sounds like we've got company. We might have to um, stay still for a minute too. Right guys, we're going to make a move. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and please go and check out my Instagram which is the Beard Explorer underscore and please also go and check out Olight's channel which I'm going to link in the description below and go and check out their website also and we'll see you on another Explore scene.